but she's a piglet and she's brave. She can be cheeky. This is Gobo, he's a very bouncy goat. He loves you to bite. And eats too much. Pardon? There's a dinky little donkey in the dash. It's got in trouble in a flash. This is Digger, he's a happy little pup. It's a windy evening on Big Barn Farm and the farmyard bunch are tucked up safe and warm in the barn. And the second little pig built his house from sticks. Oh, yes, yes, sticks are good. And said fare thee well to the other two. Eh? It means goodbye. Oh. Petal is telling Gobo, Dash and Digger about the three little pigs who went off to build their own houses and how the big bad wolf came along and... He huffed and he puffed and he blew down the little pig's house. This is scary. If he came near my house, I'd... 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 Well, I'd tell him to go away. Yeah, yeah. If he came near me, I'd... I'd really woof at him. Yeah, me too. You can't woof, Gobo. No time for anyone to woof tonight. It's getting very late. We'd better go to bed now. We can hear more about the three little pigs tomorrow. OK. Bye. Cheerio. Bye. See you in the morning, Farmyard Bunch. It's a lovely sunny day and Gobo, Dash and Digger are still talking about the story of the three little pigs. It's a great idea, building your own house, like the little pigs. Yep, if pigs can do it, why can't we? Cos pigs are smart. We're smart-ish. But I don't think those three pigs were very smart. If they were really clever, they'd have stayed at home, snug and safe with their mum. Yeah, right. Stay with their mummies, if they were goo-goo babies. Yeah, goo-goo-ga-ga baby boo-boos. <laughs> yeah, not big strong guys like us. <laughs> Let's go make houses. Yay! Yay! OK, you go ahead if you want to, but I'm staying here in the lovely warm barn. Oh, are you? <laughs> 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 Remember what happened to the three little pigs? Hey, look! Hey, look at what? Hey, look at that hay! So what? I have that for a snack quite often. But it's not just for eating, it's perfect building material for a house for a goat. I'm building my house right here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Go, 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 Bo! Gobo has built his house of hay. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, it looks a bit wobbly to me. Wobbly, maybe, but I call it home. We'd better be off, then. We've got our own houses to build. Fare thee well. Fare thee what? Fare thee well. It means goodbye and good luck. It's what the little pig said. Oh, yes. See you, Gobo. Bye. Fare thee well. Digger and Dash have gone to the trees by the fence. What do you think, Digger? Is this a good place to build a house? Well, uh, I like trees. Mm, uh, lots of sticks to play with. And fences are nice. So, Digger, are you going to build your house here? Dash, this is where I'm going to start building. Wow, look at that. A house made of sticks. Ta-da! Home sweet home! 
Hmm, it looks a bit rickety to me. Oh, no way. It's as strong as my kennel. You can share if you want. Hmm, that's very generous of Digger, but Dash isn't too sure. It's nice, but if you don't mind, I think I'll carry on looking for something a bit stronger. Fare thee well. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Bye-bye. So, Gobo has a house, Digger has a house, but Dash is still looking for somewhere to build his. Hmm, where can I build my house? Dash has found a nice strong wall. And there are some bricks and wood left by the farmer. Is this a good place to build a house? Well, bricks are stronger than sticks or hay. And? I think they'll do. Better get building then. Ah, oh, that looks good, Dash. It's big and strong. I like it. Job done. You get settled in. See you later, Dash. Um, will you be all right on your own? Hmm, I'm already feeling at home here. <laughs> That's good, because it's getting a bit windy again. Oh, that wind is certainly blowing a gale. I wonder whose house is the warmest? Dash's shelter looks strong, but that brick wall doesn't look very warm. What about diggers? I think those twigs are letting in a bit of a draught. Poor Digger doesn't look too warm either. Gobo's hay and straw bales look quite a bit warmer. But guess who is warmest of all? Yes, Sensible Petal's much warmer than the others. She's all tucked up in nice warm straw inside the barn. But I miss Gobo, Dash and, and Digger and all their chatter. I expect they miss you, too. I miss Petal and the others. She misses you, too, Gobo. There's plenty of room for you all in the barn. And I'm a bit hungry. I've had to nibble one of my walls. Yum, yum. Don't eat too much of your house, Gobo. It will fall down. And how is Digger in his drafty house of sticks? Oh, I forgot to bring my water bowl. I'm thirsty. <laughs> oh, dear. And there's Dash. He doesn't look very happy. Hmm, I'm cold and I'm a bit lonely. I wish I was still in the barn with Petal. But Dash is trying to be very brave like the three little pigs in the story and stay in his house on his own. Oh, I wonder if the three little pigs were lonely too. Maybe you should go back to the barn, Digger. I'm cold and hungry. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. Petal is still missing the others, but I'm sure they won't be gone forever. Hello. It's a bit windy today, isn't it? Oh, it's only a little wind. In France, we just call this a breeze. So, where are your little friends today? Hmm? They've gone off to build their own houses. Oh la la, why is that? Petal explains that she was telling them the story of the three little pigs. And they decided to go off and build their own houses. And now Petal is all alone in the barn. Moulala! I am sure they will be back before you can say fromage. You'll see. Maybe. Gobo's a bit frightened of the howling wind. What did Petal say? And the big bad wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Oh, what's that noise? Is it the big bad wolf? He's definitely howling. Ah, ah, help! It's the big bad wolf! He's blown my lovely house down! But it's only the wind, Gobo. Oh, I don't like that noise. Oh, oh. 
Oh. Uh. Oops, look, the strong wind has blown that bag up in the air. Oh, oh my, what is it? Is it a ghost? No, there are no such things. Is it a monster? Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, oh, I'm frightened. Oh, 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 it's a wolf. It's a wolf. Run! Hang on, Digger. It's only the wind. Wait for me. to see you two. I heard crashes and screams and howls. I'm a bit frightened. This big, bad wolf. He puffed and he puffed and he's coming. Oh, you'd better get inside my house with me. That's him. He's coming. He's here! The wolf is here! He scratched me! Leg it! They'll be friends forever down on Big Pong Pong! That's more like it. The farmyard bunch are all back together in the barn. But it's only a story. The big bad wolf isn't real. He is. We saw him. He scratched my bottom. No, no, no. The Three Little Pigs is a fairy tale. It's the wolf. Uh. Help. He's coming. Uh. <gasps> Are you still in here? Mom? Come on back to the sty. It's getting late and it's very windy out here. Okay, Mom. And tonight, Gobo, Dash, and Digger think they might spend the night in the barn all together. Hmm. Just in case the big bad wolf decides to pop by again. That's all for now. See you again soon down on Big Barn Farm. This is Petal, she's a piglet and she's brave. She can be cheeky, but she never misbehaves. This is Gobo, he's a very bouncy goat. He loves to play and eats all day. Uh, pardon? There's a dinky little donkey named Dash. If you're in trouble, oh, yeah, in a flash. This is Digger, he's a happy little pup. Is he cute? Dead right. And he barks? Not quite. <laughs> the ducks are splashing in and out the pond. But the Mrs. Chicken. Gossip, gossip, all day long. Dan is French and lovely And we all know who goes cock a doo doo <laughs> Mrs Snaffles and her piglets come to play And on pot make sure that everyone is safe <laughs> Who's the tallest of them all? It's the horse And last, not least, their friends The sheep Now you've seen them all together And they love to be together They'll be friends forever down on the <laughs> 